Hello, good day. Today I'll be showing you how to create a network within VirtualBox with multiple operating systems. First, you'll want to go into the setting and edit the network card for each individual operating system. I'll be showing an example with one, so you will know where what to go on for the others. So first, select your operating system. And click second. Then go down to network. As you see here, let's select the enable and select host room at that point. And make sure I'm selecting the share smooth so allow all and cable connected to be selected. And click OK. Next, we'll be going to the actual network adapter setting. To make sure everything is up and correct. Go to File and Preference and Network and select the screwdriver to edit the setting of the network adapter. These settings are not necessarily important right now. Let's go to DHCP and enter the IP address of your server. In this case, I'll be using 192.168.56.102. Click OK. And we're going next into Windows Server itself to set it up to allow file sharing and network discovery within your operating system. And this is my Windows Server 2008. This window will show up, and I want to go and select Manage Network Connection. Right click and select Properties. On select the IPv version 6, so I won't be using that protocol. And then go on to IPv version 4, and this is where we enter in our settings. Select properties and enter in the IP address that we previously entered. As you can see, I already have my IP address entering from before 102. The subnet mask will come up automatically and leave the default gateway blank. And for the DNS server, enter in 127.0.0.1. This will create a loopback. Effect so whatever packets are sent to the server, it will be sent right back to the server. Click OK, click close, and now we're going to edit the settings to allow file sharing with all computers on the network. First, we're going to network discovery, actually, first network location. I prefer the select private that allows a lot more, a uh, much more easier setup of the network. Now go to network discovery and turn on network discovery. Select and click apply. Then file sharing. Make sure this is turned on. As you see, my already turned on. And public folder sharing. This should also be turned on. But select the second option to allow other computers or anyone on the network to edit and share and so forth. We have no printer installed right now, so we'll leave that setting out right now. And we don't want any passwords right now, so we'll leave password protection off for now. Make sure and select apply after editing each of the settings for it to be set. And now we're going to check to see our network. I have already set up the network to allow viewing of all the other computers. But I'm going to go into each individual operating system to show you how to set them up individually. Hi, welcome to Windows XP. First, we need to go into the network sharing. So, 
like click on the set icon and click open the set connection. And as done before, right click, select properties on your local area connection. As you can see, it's a little bit different from all the operating systems, so, but still, same concept, scroll down until you see Internet Protocol and select that. And click Properties. The only thing that will be different here is the IP address, which I set it to 192.168.56.108. Same subject mask and the IP address of our server. You'll be setting the IP address of our server. Uh, the IP address of our server to the gateway and to the DNS. Once all that is inputted, let's click OK. OK again. And next we're going to set up our network. With XP, it's a little more work, so I'm going to show you how to get to that. Click Start. And go to my network spaces. As you can see, my other folders is here, but I'm going to show you how to be set this up. Because when you're first doing it, you won't be able to see it here. Select Setup Home Network, and this wizard will come up. Select Next. Next again. And select the second option. This computer connects to the internet to a residential gateway or to another computer on my network. Click next. Leave computer description blank, but put a simple computer name to allow easy access to this long computer. Click next. By default, Windows 7 and this uh, typical workgroup name is workgroup. So you can just enter in workgroup in all caps. You won't have to do this with your other operating system. Click next. Turn on file sharing because you want the ability to share files between all computers. Click next. This is a summary of all our settings. Click next. Select the last option because this is the only Windows XP operating system we will be using. Let's click next and finish and the wishes should be complete and now you should be able to see all the computers on your network. Let's select view Google computers and as you can see these are all our computers that are on the network. Now Windows 7, first we're going to right click our network icon and select Network Sharing Center. Yet again we're going to change the adapter setting. Same process as before. As you see, our individual IP address for this operating system. Before gateway and DNS is the IP address of the server. Click OK. Now we are going to change the setting to allow file sharing between our computers. For this you are going to change advanced sharing setting. And as you see, select it as turn on message discovery. Make sure turn on file and printer sharing is selected. Turn off password protected sharing to allow easy sharing between files without having to enter a password. If you click start, go to my computer and network, you should be able to see all the computers on the network. Now to Vista. Same process as before, so it won't be necessary going into everything. To change the adapter settings of the adapter and give it its individual IP address. 
but for sharing between files, regional network discovery is selected and file sharing is turned on. Make sure both of these settings is turned on. Public file sharing folder sharing should be turned on also, as we before, the second option. We have no printer connected, password protected, sharing is turned off, and if you want you can turn on media sharing, but I opted to leave it off. And if you go to view computers and network, you should see all your computers connected. And you could also click into each individual to see the files that they have made available. As you can see right now. And this is how to set up a network within VirtualBox. Thank you very much.